Hey Vinyl Community, long time no see. Um, I thought I'd make a quick video just saying hello um, and uh, uh, just some stuff I've been thinking about recently. Um, I just reread uh, for the first time in a very long time Harvey Peeker's um, How I Stopped Record Collecting uh, story drawn by Robert Crum and, and that's a really fun little story about how deep you can get into the vinyl collecting addiction and how it can sort of run your life which I I don't know if you can tell here but uh, basically I'm surrounded by records and to some extent CDs and stuff in here and my own mess um, um, and just uh, thinking about the vicissitudes of vinyl collecting like this year and I think in the fall of last year I, maybe even last um, year I uh, skipped record store day uh, because I mean I, I've found over the years that a lot of the things that I got on record store day like a few months later they would be cheaper than they were new in the store because stores are starting to mark up the record store day releases for a collectible collector value and flipping value and uh, then when things don't sell as much as they thought then they start lowering them some things end up being like half the price of when they first came out of course there are a much smaller percentage of things that become really valuable but ten generally those aren't the releases that I'm interested in anyway so it gets really tiresome trying to keep up with all the things you have to buy as they come out before they go out of print and go up in value and blah 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 it really sort of takes away from what this is hobby is supposed to be about which is about the music and the experience of you know having the record sleeve and reading the lyrics and reading about the artist and listening to the album and having that whole experience and you get sort of twisted into this sort of money quality thing that gets going on where you know you feel the need to like post these valuable records that you have or found and I just find that so tiresome you know um, I remember one time a guy online was compl complaining about some record that was being repressed that was worth two hundred dollars and obviously if a record is worth two hundred dollars it's probably worth repressing so that other people don't have to spend two hundred dollars to get the record it's weird to me when they're repressing records that you know, or in dollar bins. That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, um, also I met uh, Roger Coleman briefly on a road trip I had recently, and sadly we didn't have very much time to hang out, but it was nice to see somebody from the vinyl community in real life. Um, the Austin Record Convention is coming up soon, and I'll inevitably be drawn deep into its vortex. Um, uh, I need to, as usual, go through my records and try to get rid of some stuff to free up some money to be able to buy other records and to free up space. Um, you know, whenever I go to write something down or uh, say something, I find that what I had to say is basically just like one thing. And once it's gone, I'm like, why why did I do this if I was just gonna write one little tiny little statement um, and then feel compelled to just dribble on and on so for those of you who didn't get this far you know I'm sorry for those of you who don't mind my angst ridden blah blah blahs uh, here I still am um, I recently rewatched the documentary vinyl by uh, I forget whether I think it's Alan Zweig I'm pretty sure his last name is Zweig Anyway, that's super depressing because that's basically a guy mostly talking to a camera like this about how he feels that collecting vinyl is what's keeping him from having a happy life and being married and having kids, uh, which is sort of crazy. I mean, but it may be symptomatic. Well, it is symptomatic of a much bigger thing that's going on with his personality, obviously. But, uh, but yeah, there's something about the collector mentality that can sort of... Uh, twist your drives. I mean there's probably something about it that starts from something healthy and then becomes something unhealthy. And uh, uh, Harvey Peeker talks about that in that comic which I recommend looking up. It's called 
how I stopped collecting records, how I quit collecting records and put out a comic book with the money I saved. Um, but he talks about how he collected things when he was young and then he got into collecting jazz records. And at first it was a healthy thing uh, and he would listen to the records and then he got sort of obsessed with collector value and he was buying stuff that he wasn't listening to or didn't have time to listen to or knew that he wouldn't listen to very much. And that's sort of when you know you have a problem. Um, and obviously there's some people who are who collect sleeves as much as they do the records or I mean I'm sure there's some though there are definitely some people who don't even have turntables who buy vinyl for the uh, download codes and because they like the pretty colored vinyl and sleeves I, I I don't blame them for that I saw a record that was mailed uh, recently online where it was just mailed in shrink wrap and they had put the uh, album in her sleeve outside the record so as to avoid a seam split for the sleeve and thus expose the record that much more to being damaged in the mail because it didn't even have the protection of the thicker outer record sleeve to protect it and I mean I really think there are some people who you know are more interested in showing off a perfect sleeve than they are listening to a record obviously I'm not saying that's you or everybody but it's something to watch out for maybe only if you're disposed to having that sort of collector mentality or borderline hoarder mentality um, so maybe this is just a silly horror story that most people can ignore anyway um, so I'm doing my usual thing of going through the records I have I I get more records that I think will be interesting and then uh, don't have time to listen to my favorite records because I'm going through the I think part of it is just always the search for the new you know um, like with TV shows and movies there's some people who like to like watch The Office over and over again I can't really or Star Wars over and over again. I can't really watch things over and over again I get bored of it I'm more drawn toward having new experiences over and over again so I'm always drawn to finding new records because there are are an infinite number of records out there uh, in every obscure niche you can possibly imagine they are out there so I'm looking for them um, and uh, if I don't like something I don't dwell on it and I don't keep it I get rid of it but uh, it does keep me from being able to have as much time to listen to my favorites and then I find myself on the computer when I want to play something to just sort of energize myself going to tried and true overplayed tracks but there is something cold about that process I don't know about the warmth of vinyl or whatever but uh, there's something about listening to the same tracks that you go to all the time because they work for you in some capacity to sort of energize you or make you feel something when you want to feel something specific and then you overplay those emotions and then they are like a, a copy of a copy anyway um, I will try to occasionally make these videos. Uh, sorry if that's a threat to some of you. Uh, obviously with the internet you can click stop, you can close the window, you don't have to pay any attention whatsoever. You can write mean comments down below um, and I will take them to heart and it will destroy my ego. Uh, my ego has been in many ways crushed down by the universe uh, a long time ago so um, hopefully that hardens me to some kinds of name-calling um, what else it's summer already here in Austin Texas during the Austin record convention it's going to be in the mid 90s so if you're coming to Austin for the record convention you have that to look forward to I I fucking hate it uh, the summer that is my favorite month in Austin is in November because even October it often hasn't cooled down to below the 90s yet um, anyway uh, I could go on and on about less and less but I'll try to give you a break <laughs>